LaMelo Ball is just the truth and a half. You know, um, you see Kai Sinat on FaceTime with him. If you are living under a rock, Kai Sinat is a guy who basically does a lot of live streams and all of the stars come sit down on his couch. And all of this is after Melo gifted him numerous pairs of MB1s, MB, MBO2s, MBO3s. You know, um, I seen some Dexter Laboratories over. I seen some kicks I ain't never even seen before. I just got to keep going away 100 with you. You know, uh, so this is definitely um, nice to see. Um, who knows? Are we going to get mellow on the couch uh, with this man, Kai Sinai, um, in terms of doing the live stream? A lot of stars, like I said, have been there. Um, I, not too long ago, I just seen Nicki Minaj over there. So um, I've seen Offset. Um, I'm not sure of Cardi B, but everybody acknowledges this man. You know, he's not popular off of music or anything like that. Um, and all of the stars are gravitating towards him. So it's not surprising to me that I see LaMelo um, sending him shoes and things like that. I think it's going to, and the man damn near was ready to break down in the tears, you know, to see these shoes, you know. So he clearly has an amazing relationship with Melo, phone relationship. Because once the shoes was gifted, he he personally FaceTimed LaMelo. So I'm pretty sure everybody don't have it um, like that. You know, so that was definitely nice to see. Um, and it's good marketing. LaMelo, I, and I'm going to keep it real with you. You got a lot of stars in the NBA. Um, some of them backed by Puma. Pardon me, not back. Well, you do have some backed by Puma, but... We all know Melo is the flagship star. You have stars backed by Adidas, Nike, um, major backing. And they have not hit the ground rolling like LaMelo MB1s, MBO1s, you know. Um, those shoes was a wave. I mean, when you talk about the resellers, and it, it was crazy. I don't know if people might need to take a trip down memory lane. Um, clearly with the MBO2s, did it have the same pop as the uh, MBO1s? I, I got to be honest with you. I can't say because I'm a, I'm one of the fans who believe that people weren't ready to let go of the MBO1s. Those were so iconic. You know, I thought that they could have, Puma could have ran with the MBO1s for another year. I thought that the MBO2s was rushed. The MBO3s are nice too, but I've heard from critics that just tell me there's a lot going on, you know, and it's so hard to go on a classic. When you drop a classic, it's so hard to follow, you know, um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. That's something that Puma is going to have to do. I don't know if they're going to have to do some kind of marketing or cross brand with the first one to mix it correctly. Um, there's a multitude of different things that they can do. But Kai Sinat is a guy who has made a living off of these live streams. Y'all tell me in the comment section what were some of your favorite Kai Sinat moments um, or and how did you get introduced to him? Uh, all of the rap, like I said, the rappers, the basketball players. Um, I, 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 he's from New York, if I'm not mistaken, you know, uh, but clearly um, just, just hitting all markets from all over the place. Um, I think that Mellow Shoes is going to continue to sell. I think what he just dropped was some Chinese New Year's, if I'm not mistaken. I know the Dexter Laboratories was, I believe, before. And then now I believe that he just dropped some Chinese New Year's. So y'all be on the lookout for that. You know, y'all make sure y'all go buy the MBO1s, MBO2s, MBO3s from Puma. I was just in Champs the other day. I just realized Champs. They turning it up when it comes to the MBO, MBO1s, MBO2s, MBO3s. So anybody looking for a pair of mellows, I think Champs is a good place to go because I see they have an array of, of sneakers that you can choose from. And, I, and, and the colors is just tremendous, you know, so you're going to get a variety over there. So definitely head over to Champs, you know. Um, now, that's just on the sneaker front with Mello. This and that the sneakers is clearly one of the most successful things because we can't say anything about the team. And I was hoping that we didn't have to get into this with the team. You know, the Hornets, you know, they just lost. 
Um, this this season has really been a wash. You know, um, I think this is another season to forget. Um, nobody wants to remember what's going on right now because this is a disaster. What's going on right now? This is like I don't think anybody could have sliced or diced what has occurred. The Charlotte Hornets are finished. You know, um, and I don't know who's to blame, but blame clearly needs to go around. I, obviously, I started the top. Whenever you got a guy like Melo, who is such a – you don't see Tyrese Howard. This, this is a crossover superstar, you understand? And all of the stuff – this is what I was trying to discuss with a lot of people. A lot of these guys ain't really who you think they are, you know, a lot of – you know, so um, – and I see I see Pascal Siakam and Indy. I just can only imagine if Melo could get a real competent roster around him, you know, in Charlotte. You know, because a lot of people ride with Melo. Melo has an extreme fan base. And I just beg to differ, you know, um, with a lot of people. I just feel like Melo has not gotten a fair shake out the NBA. You know, in my humble, especially from the Charlotte Hornets. You know, they have not given him a true opportunity to truly compete. You know, um, because this is what, what Melo was turned into. Is a good, uh, I'm telling you, they turned him into some kind of side show for Charlotte. I don't know if they just, they got him to sell tickets or what, but clearly um, it's not what I like to see. And he just deserves so much more, you know, and I, and I don't know if it's going to happen in Charlotte, but something got to give, something got to give. And I need y'all to get in the comment section with me to let me know if you agree, because the, this cannot be the new normal for the Hornets and for Melo. Um, every year shouldn't be a situation where, okay, individually, you know, you're looking at Melo, but team-wise, they're never going to win nothing. You know, and that hurts him individually because when all-star voting come around, when, they, when this come around, they look at the team's success. And when you look at the Hornets' record, it's like, oh, whoa. It, it's almost like he got to play Herculean to defy all those odds and nine times out of ten that's not usually the case every single night and you're putting a lot of pressure on him to do these things every single night so it, like i said it's gonna be interesting to see um how all of this shakes out you know at the end of the day Lamelo is the truth um like i said he was on facetime you know with kai sanat um superstar streamer you know, um, make sure you get in the comment section. Like I said, let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you, how you think LaMelo and Puma and that relationship has went ever since he signed. Because I think that was a, a, a good idea to go with Puma. You know, it's almost reminiscent of Michael when he got with Nike. If you don't remember, Nike wasn't what they was when Michael signed with them. Converse was going at that time and a lot of other things was bigger. And Jordan picked Nike. You understand? Do your homework. And you see what's going on with Melo. Puma, not a big brand, especially in basketball, known for soccer. Now you now you got a flagship star, sneakers selling out the window. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is. Make sure you hit the like button and most definitely hit the subscribe button. You already know.